Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've had a tutorial, so this time we're going to be talking about render orders for your pre-comp. Now what does that mean? Now, let's suppose you've gotten into a huge, huge comp, so huge you have to break it up into pre-renders. Alright, and everything's going fine, but now after you're all done, they look at it and say, hey, we need to fix this one thing, but unfortunately it's all the way back to the beginning of the, your first uh, pre-comp render. So what you gotta do, you gotta fix it, render it, wait for it to get done, bring it in, put it through your pipe again, render the next one, wait for it to bring it back in, etc., etc., till you've gone through all the pre-comps that you need to do to finally render out that final comp. Where I'm gonna show you how to do that so you don't have to wait, bring it back in, etc., etc. You can just kick it off once and you're good to go. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in new. I suppose we're gonna play let's pretend that we have this comp that's gotten big. All right, we started out with the comp. In this case, we're just a simple ball going from one quarter to the next, all right? Again, pretend we've worked like four or five hours on this. It's gotten huge. We need to pre-render this so we can continue the next stage. So we write out uh, pre-render comp and bring it back in so we can continue with the next stage of the comp. All right, so we do some more work. This time, this time we're going to turn it green. All right, again, a lot of work. Another four hours gone by, and we need to render it out again because the comp has gotten really, really huge. All right, and the last stage again. We do some more work here. This time we're going to turn it to red, and again now we have a red ball going from one corner to the other. So. Each one of these renders depend on the previous render. So that our final out is a red ball going from one corner to the next. Yay, we're done. Send it off for evaluations. And then they come back and say, you know what? We don't want it to go from one corner to the next. We want it to be like a hump or a bounce type of thing. And they're like, oh man, I did all that work and I have to go all the way back to formula. This is not cool. So no, what, normally what you would do, all right, you now have, you've gone back to formula and you have a ball now, it goes up and then bounces down. Great, love it, let's put it through the rest of the comp. Usually again, you'd have to render it out, wait, bring it back in, render it out, wait, bring it back in, and final out. Here's what you can do, so you don't have to do so much waiting and bringing it back in, is you set these right nodes to render order. Now by default, it is set to one and nobody really cares, all right? But if you set it to start out with zero, okay? And then for your first render here, it really doesn't matter what the frame rate is on your first render. But the next one, I set to two. Now why didn't I set it to one? Well, because on my system, and I, you have to kind of test this, on my system, if I set it to one, uh, there's not enough time for it to pause to bring in the frame to bring it into the comp to render out. It, it sometimes does something weird. So by giving it two, you give it a little more time to wait and bring in the next frame and it has time to load in. So, and this one, you have to put the frame range in, right? Click limit to range, put the frame range of your comp in, and then third one, all right, I'm doing even numbers and putting to four. So skipping over three, making it four, and again, putting my frame range of my comp in. And now, once I've done that, instead of having a ball, a final render ball that goes from one corner to the next, like it is now, let's go ahead and just do render all nodes, global is good and then let's let it do its thing so when we reload that final render it should have a ball a red ball that does a bouncing hump just like the white one did. but it's gone through all those stages for me i didn't have to import replace re-render all right let's go here let's go ahead and reload this thing hey look jump down it's encouraging. 
and we have a bouncing ball. Well, there you have it. That's basically it. That's how you use the render order in your, in your comp. What's really nice is you can just set it and forget it, but it does not work. I, I'm gonna stress this, it does not work if you're in a pipeline that automatically up versions your comp when you send it off to the render farm. I worked at Encore and that's what they did. So this technique wouldn't work unless I didn't use their write nodes and created my own write nodes so it could constantly overwrite my uh, pre-comps, which may or may not be a good thing. Kind of use your own discretion on that. But yeah, basically that's it. That's how you use the render order and the write functions to help you automate a lot more stuff for your comedy. So I'll see you next time. Have a good day and I'll see you later.